First corner action here at Villa Walsh, and it's Cosette Boulanger with the steal, and she takes it all the way for the basket, and the Vikings have an 8-4 lead over Mountain Lakes. And Villa Walsh would take a 16-10 lead after one quarter, thanks in part to this Morgan Poulton three that spins its way in, and the Vikings have a six-point lead. Second quarter action, and watch Jane Brennan and Mountain Lakes with a nice catch, and she goes glass because Villa Walsh's lead to five, 19-14 midway through the quarter. Then it's Jenny Smith of Mountain Lakes going strong to the basket here, but the Lakers still trail by five, 21-16, with three minutes to go in the opening half. But while Jaron Fisher with a nice drive here for the Vikings as they would take a 25-20 lead at the half. We go to third quarter action and watch the Mountain Lakes players work the boards here and it's Krista Rigby with the putback and the Lakers trail by three, 26-23 midway through the quarter. But once again, Villa Walsh has an answer. Watch Cosette Boulanger with the skip pass to Aaron Fisher who knocks down the three and the Vikings have a 34-27 lead after three quarters of play. We move to fourth quarter action and watch the good ball movement here by Villa Walsh and it's Shea McGuire getting the shooter's roll for the three and the Vikings have a six point lead 37-31 with 5.37 to go. Mountain Lakes continues to cut into Villa Walsh's lead, watch the Lakers get the board and it's Julia Asimov with the kick to Krista Rigby who pops the jumper and it's a two point game 37-35 Villa Walsh. Now Lakes would tie it, but it's Shane McGuire of Villa Walsh off the inbounds play with the jumper to make it 39-37 Villa Walsh with 3.10 to go. But Mountain Lakes would send this game to overtime while Jenny Smith with the gift to Jane Brennan and she's fouled and we go to overtime not at 41. What a game. Early in the overtime, Mountain Lakes shows up 43-41. Watch Jane Brennan with the good look to Jenny Smith for the layup and the Lakers are up by two. Then it's deja vu all over again. It's Smith on the same exact play with another layup, and the Lakers are up by four, 45-41 with 3.03 to go. All right, time is running out here in the first overtime, and it's Sarah Bedard of Mountain Lakes with the putback as Mountain Lakes would rally to post a thrilling 49-46 Liberty Division win in overtime here at Villa Wall. It was really exciting. Um, this is my first year actually playing, so it's really nice to be with the team, and like I really like the experience and like being part of the team and winning was so exciting. I, it was just a good game in general, and we played really well. We had confidence, everything. I'm just really proud of the effort we put forth here today. They were definitely a scrappy team, and it was hard for us to stay with them at the beginning. We definitely had you know check on our defensive skills, and I'm really proud of just all around everybody digging deep and coming through for us. That's huge for us. Uh, we've been struggling lately. We our last game we played really a great game with a lot of intensity, and we just needed to build the momentum and you know keep it going. Uh, I know that uh, Coach Johnson does a great t uh, job with Villa. And, you know, we had to play a good game, and thank goodness we did.